Alrighty, hey guys, Anime West reacts here. It's gonna be a reaction to Talentless Nana Chapter 84. Hope you all enjoy this reaction. Proof of Innocence Part 3. Cover is Nana, Kyoya, Psyche, and I forget this dude's name, but yeah. It's a bunch of like clock in the background and time, things like that. Sincerely. Use Psyche's power. Alright, so starting off. Okay then, you watch the stairs. The culprit might come down them, says Nakajima, I assume. You two wait here, investigate the surrounding area. And they say, yes sir. So yeah, we see, well, soldiers all getting in position and looking around. And then Nakajima says, why don't, we, why don't we go check out the room above? So yeah, they head up the stairs, see a toilet, a bedroom, or... Sleeping area. And then Nakajima says, I thought the culprit may be hiding up here, but there's nobody here. And then, yeah, Nana says, We didn't pass anyone on our way up the stairs. Perhaps they're hiding in another room. And then, yeah, Nakajima says, Well, I'll summon a few men, a few more men to investigate the area. And then, yeah, Nana says, Perhaps he killed himself. Or it was an accident. You mean he got drunk and fell? And yeah, Nakajima looks at the glass, the glasses and the alcohol on the table. And then he says, by the way, I heard Takai looked after you. And then he says, yes. <laughs> and Nakajima's like, did you, ki did you kill him because you hated being made a servant? A ser made to serve him. And then, yeah, he says... Guy says, it wasn't me. I mean, I thought about killing him a bunch of times. And then Nagy was like, you just admitted to having a motive. It's like, but I didn't, I didn't do it. Remember? When he fell, we were in the room with you. You could have used your talent. No, wait, yours is hiding in shadows, right? So it would have been impossible for you to push him while you were there. And then, yeah. She says, Nana, do you have any ideas? And then she says, if Akira saw and somehow killed Takai, then he would have written a fake note to make it look like a suicide or done something to the balcony to make it break more easily. And he says, I really had nothing to do with Takai's death. I can confidently tell you I'm telling the truth. Nana says, and if he's lying, he's doing a terrible job of it. And yeah, he says, huh. And you see a bottle or a can on the ground and something. And yeah. Nakajima says, Well, guess we can assume that idiot must have caused his own death. You guys can leave and go back to work. And then, yeah, he says, I'm sorry we weren't more useful. And yeah. Your Nana bows and says that. And then Takai follows suit. He says, Hey, Hiragi. Thirty my time is amazing, you saved my neck. And then Nana says, I hard to believe until you experience it for yourself. I understand how you feel. She says, but anyway, this means Takai fell to his death without my involvement, right? Is that even possible? Nana goes quiet and says, Fate. Apparently can't be changed. Sometimes it's delayed, but that's all. People destined to die that day must end up dying in some way or another. And then, yeah, Takai says, then, you had to stay on the floor below because you expected Takai to fall to his death, so we'd witness Takai fall with the soldiers. And then she says, yes. After all, it would prove, provide us with ironclad alibis. And then he says, I see. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so it's Akira, I think they said his name was this guy. Then he says, I see, I'm relieved. Current me just wasn't with Takai the moment he fell, right? That's why I was able to so confidently speak the truth. Honestly. <laughs> and then, yeah, he says, I was worried you'd tell Nakajima about turning back time, too. And he says, even I'm not that stupid. And this says, all right, now that Takai's gone, I'm ready to help you. I'll do anything. And Nana just says, like, whatever you do, don't let the... Don't let the word get out. And yeah, he says, I know. 
I won't tell anyone you're planning to use a computer to send images to the outside world or to the outside and call for help. And then not as late. Yeah. I'm a little worried about you. Let me go back over to you. Kill your sister. <clears throat> and he says, you're back here again. And then, yeah. Soroka says, I have, to I have to see if she really lost use of her talent. She can still use it. She'll try to kill me first. She's got the strength to do it. And yeah, says Nakajima says, I'm surprised you volunteered to do this yourself. And yeah, he says, Soroka says, I'm I heard there was an incident. Nakajima says, one of my men got fell got drunk and fell to his death. So Soroka's involved, isn't she? How did you know? And he says, you stuck your nose into trivial matters because you wanted to see Hiragi again. <laughs> and then Nagaji was like, don't be ridiculous. I was just, I was doing my job. And he says, report. And then, yeah, so, then we go to washing machines and, you know, and it's like he's doing laundry. This, so, about Akira. Can you believe I turned back time? And he says, yes. He's an honest person. He probably doesn't doubt others much. Well, from Akira's perspective, someone who once fell from the 10th floor of a building fell for a second time. When I said I had something to do with that. Do with faith, he accepted my explanation. Well, only someone, well, only someone who's experienced my talent before would be able to tell. So yeah, he doesn't know the specifics of it. How you, I like how you go back to the moment you woke the day before. Fully Akira was the right choice. If we told him what we'd actually done, he wouldn't be able to hide it. But, yeah, that was the problem. And she says, yeah. Psyche says, either way, I know what you mean. I can imagine him panicking when questioned, yeah. Because of it, Akira is convinced he had nothing to do with Takai's death. He was confident until the questioning ended. Yeah, but couldn't we have actually gone back to tomorrow and done it over again? We could have kept the cure from Takai. But Takai might not have died. So yeah. Takai would have continued to make Akira serve him. Eventually, a similar incident might have occurred. And this time, Akira might actually have killed Takai. And so yeah. Psyche's like, he really didn't kill him, right? And then Nana says, I believe he didn't. And, Kyoya, I must say, you surprised me. And then, yeah, he got a uniform that says it's for Red. And then, so, there are no suspects. We're saying Takai got drunk and fell on his own. And then, yeah, Soroka's <laughs> like, what a trivial affair. To help you pass the time? Soroka says, this Takai fellow's death is of no importance. However... It means to me to watch Hiragi manipulate, manipulate you. Like, what are you talking about? When you were summoned to the room on the lower floor. Yeah, he explains to her. What was Hiragi doing? Nothing in particular. I think she was looking out the window. She must have known someone would fall from above. She wanted you to witness that. And he says, why? Naturally, to create an ironclad alibi. Someone on the floor below couldn't possibly push someone on the floor above. And yeah, he says, I know that. What then? You're saying Nana killed him after all? And yeah, he says, Hiragi doesn't have a motive. Makes sense to assume she'd, she did it to protect Akira, a talented with a motive. And then he's like, but he couldn't have done it either. He was with us. And then yeah, Hiragi's like, the body you saw fall wasn't Takai. And then yeah, he's like, what? Someone other than Takai fell, since you only saw him for an instant, I doubt you saw his face. And he's like, it's true that I only saw his head, the back of it. I didn't see his face. They were careful. But we checked the bodies. Once once we were back on the ground, this was definitely Takai's body. All my men said it was him. And yeah, they switched the bodies while you were descending the stairs. The body fell in an unmaintained yard, overgrown with weeds. They probably hid Takai's body there beforehand. You mean Takai died before we saw him fall? The body that fell, what exactly did we see? 
<laughs> Probably the course of someone else. And yeah, he's looking at Ren when he says this. This, like, <laughs> really sinister smile. And then, yeah, Nagato's like, ah, impossible. This is what you're saying, right? Someone dropped a fake corpse from the 10th floor. We witnessed that. Or we descending the stairs, someone on the ground swept the fallen body with Takaya's which had been hidden beforehand. There's no one inside the building. Who could have dropped the fake body in besides? We searched the backyard pretty thoroughly. If your theory is correct, we should have found the fake corpse in addition to Takaya's body. Or are you saying someone on the ground fled while carrying a heavy corpse? Someone less suspicious would have been apprehended. And, yeah, Sir so was like, oh, enough, go. Yeah, <laughs> and then Nagatim was like, Sir son, even you make mistakes sometimes. Corpse itself jumped, waited for a signal from above, and swapped itself out for Takai's body. Then the corpse simply walked away. Only a mortal man could have pulled off such a tick. Tick. Trick. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, my brother isn't a corpse. Then yeah, he says a human without memories isn't a corpse. Hmm. And then yeah, end of the chapter we got yeah Nana, Kyoya, and Psyche all smiling and yeah, it's like fitting a uniform for Ren. So yeah, it's a good chapter. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, then yeah, like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.